What's going on, people? We're back here with another video, man. It's been a while since I've done a face-to-face -face video like this with my personal webcam. Well, my camera, but we will be talking about which micro SD card is best for you and actually how to upgrade it from. If you purchase a, a, a new one, you have an older one, how do you simply upgrade it? So, stay tuned. So first things first, a couple of questions you guys are probably asking, which type of micro SD card do I actually need for my Nintendo Switch? Well, honestly that really depends because are you playing third party titles, first party titles, both exclusive games, or multi-platform? Here is my collection of Nintendo Switch games. I, when I first started out on uh, first getting my Nintendo Switch, I didn't have no memory card at all because the Nintendo Switch is basically built in with 32 gigabyte internal memory. And that can get filled up pretty fast, especially at the time in 2017. Legend of Zelda was probably the only major game that was on there, and that basically took up a lot of space. So, this is my collection of uh, Nintendo exclusives featuring uh, Yoshi Mario and all other wonderful titles. This is so many games. This is my uh, exclusives. This is my... I'm going to get a good grip of this. Multi-platform, basically ones that are on the PS4, PC, Xbox One. As you guys can tell, these are so many Nintendo Switch games, including games that are digital on my Nintendo Switch, such as Warframe, Super Smash Brothers, Fortnite, and etc. etc. When the first Nintendo Switch first came out, it was only about a couple of games at the time. Now it's over 1,500 games. A lot of indie, mostly indie games, but it is so many games. So the question is, which type of micro SD card do you actually need? Well, for starters, like I asked you guys earlier, what games are you going to be playing? Well, if you want to be playing, I said earlier, if you want to get a micro SD card, a 32 gigabyte will be perfectly fine if you only plan on getting exclusives, or possibly a 64 gigabyte will be perfectly, mostly the sweet spot, 32 to 64. You can uh, the Switch can hold up to two terabyte, but so far as of now, I, it might be actually a one terabyte. I actually don't know, but I believe a 64. If you want to get exclusives, this I think 32 because 32. Help me pretty fine with majority of these games. You know, they have a lot of digital, you do have system updates, you do have game updates, so that can also take a lot out of your system, uh, software, uh, system. So, but what if you're going to be playing both exclusives and multi-platform games, such as Doom, which can take up a whole lot, L.A. Noir. It is so many games out there that can take up a lot of space from your Nintendo Switch. If that's the case, I recommend getting at least 120 gigabyte or at least a 256. I, at first when I got my, I just got a 32, I didn't plan on upgrading because I didn't plan on getting as many games or as many multi-platform games because I have played these mainly on my PS4. And also another question, if you have a PS4, Xbox One, or basically all the consoles, then you probably won't be spending the extra cash because I do plan on getting both Crash uh, Team Racing on my Switch and on the PS4 that's going to be released in two weeks. So, like I said, it all depends, but if you're going to be playing mainly exclusive, I say 32 should just hold you over just fine. Not that many, it is a lot, but it's not many. Or if you're one of the people like me who beat the game, win, sell it, trade in. The pro SD cards recommendations for me personally, I will only shop in two stores. One online and one in store. One being Amazon. This card right here, Gigastone, which is a 256 micro SDXC card. I paid $32 for this. When you look online, you go to places like Office Depot, Office Max, or any other stores like that. This is almost $200, I'm correct. You go try to find a 64 gigabyte, it's like damn near $80. So I understand why those are very, very expensive. That is also, you know, I understand why. But if you want to get the best bang for your buck, you don't you want to be overcharged, overpriced, or get ripped, completely ripped off, go off Amazon. If you want to get a 16 gigabyte, you probably get that damn near $10 or $8. It just all depends where you go. I believe Walmart has some pretty decent ones. You don't always have to go with the Nintendo exclusive products. You just go third party and just get it like that. That's what something I do personally recommend. So I'm going to be showing you guys, I answer, hopefully I answered a lot of you guys' questions. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. I wouldn't mind giving you guys recommendations. Furthermore, I just mentioned personally. So how do you simply upgrade your, if you already have a micro SD card, how do you simply upgrade it? So you guys probably, if you guys already know, you probably watch this, you probably already know how to do it. So what you do is flip up the kickstand, you will personally see your Nintendo Switch uh, micro SD card is built in. Just push it in, it will come out. Make sure before you do any of this, turn your Nintendo Switch completely off. Oh, you probably wonder how do you do that? Hold the power button until you see this pop up. Hold on, let it load in, and it will say power options. You want to go down, click on it, and it will say turn off. A lot of people didn't know that. I didn't know myself either, because I had to buy this twice because I tried to copy my old one onto this one, and the new one got corrupted, so I had to buy a whole other one, and it's a whole lot of work. 
it, it, it's too much of a hassle. You can do this. You can get because your saved data that is from these games or is saved to your internal, which is saved to the system. But your games downloaded your as you purchase will be on your micro SD card. It's a lot of, it was a little confusing to me. That's why you're gonna need, hold on. If you do plan on transferring, you know, any micro SD card, anything like that, please buy one of these. This is a um, a card reader, a micro SD uh, adapter. You plug it in, plug it to your computer or PC, and you just transfer your files over. And that's simply it. And then you just simply plug it in. Like I said earlier, your saved data is saved to your cloud. If you wanna do your cloud as well, if you have Nintendo Switch online, and your downloaded uh, games will be saved to your micro SD card. Hope you guys have a blessed day. See y'all in them out. Peace.